This is the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. He's the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, which is becoming a... Uh, a, 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 a touchstone on this show, I would say. Is it is it reached that level yet? Has it? Been? Yeah. Uh, we have a Chick McGee across the way, the sports doctor. Thank himself. you, Tom. Always a joy working with you. Mm -hmm. This is the new <laughs> non-bitter Chick oh, McGee. It's nice Chick. Well, thank you, Greg. Well. You too. Always enjoy your comedy. Uh -huh. Hey, Chick. Oh, hey, Pat. <laughs> That's Pat Godwin and Greg Hahn. Greg Hahn on his way to Wiley's Comedy Club Something's coming up this uh, Friday and Saturday in Something's Dayton, right. Ohio. I can't change. Pat Godwin is going to uh, Waterford, Michigan. It's Stan's place <laughs> called One Night Stan's. Stan's. I That's love it. Apostrophe, yes. But you'll be there for three nights. Three nights. Tonight, three tomorrow, and stand. Saturday. Josh Arnold is uh, warming up his feet because he'll be in Arkansas coming up uh, Saturday, February 16th for the Donnie Baker Valentine Show with Donnie the Pork Pistols and Josh Arnold. Well, that's, that's silly. Wow. That's mm -hmm. fun. That's yeah. going to be huge. That's in Jonesboro, right? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. okay. And then, uh, just Josh, this weekend, did you put the shoes on? Uh, no, I can't figure out how to get those things out of it, out of them. They're what? like these weird uh, shoe holder feels. Is this for the wedding? Squeeze them in yeah. and then pull they're, them out. Is that how you do it? Yeah, they're, uh, the, uh, they're spring-loded. I've never yeah. seen such fancy apparatus. Uh, they came with the shoes. Oh, okay. Uh, I've worn the shoes once. Oh my God! You've got to go get those. How I want to see. How expensive are these shoes? Yeah, no joke. Four hundred bucks. Now, Tom, what are you, what are you talking about? You're loaning Josh some shoes. I haven't oh, heard anything. What do you do when he gives them? Josh is in a wedding. He needs a pair of black shoes. I had to buy a black pair of shoes for something. I never wear them. What do you do when he gives them back to you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm Spray them like a bowling alley thing. Yeah. What do you think he's gonna? There's no something. Who knows? Sucks. It's Josh. You know. I, I I know you wouldn't know this to look at me. I do. I don't have. I have no foot odor at all. What? I have very clean feet. I get petties every, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, three, weeks. three to five weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, five Hours. weeks, so that must be that must be pretty graphic. Do you have dandruff? Uh, you know what I get? Sometimes I get a little eyebrow dandruff in the winter. Okay, but here's what you do for the dandruff on your head. Uh -huh. Okay. In the hotel room, get that shower cap, fill it full of marmalade, wear that overnight. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Let me know if it works. Okay, oh, okay. Let us all know. Let's say get rid of head lice, right? Marmalade. No, don't do that. Doesn't the, doesn't the sugar kill them? It does not okay. work. Oh, ah, dear Tom, your marmalade advice ruined my child. <laughs> yeah. No, they tell don't you olive that. oil, but that doesn't work either. Yeah. Trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes them taste great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many... Hey. You have to make a nice bowl of lice <laughs> body lice. lice can i bring up a topic because i need some help uh, what what is that i gotta come up with a t-shirt i need a t-shirt sure i gotta start i'm going into the t-shirt business all right i could do what i did before what it was a, a sweaty picture of me with the word ringworm underneath uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. it didn't move well go, no. with <laughs> go, go with impetigo they'll think it's foreign <laughs> i like impetigo <laughs> Uh, yeah, a Greg Hahn t-shirt. I need a t-shirt for sure. How about uh, high, five, high, five, high, friends, high, high five myself, no friends? Yeah, that's with a big it. Hand. That's, that's, that's the best. Is that funny? With a big hand. Yeah, that's your tag. It is? Don't, don't no. you think? High five myself, no friends. With How would you have the hands? I've, heard, hand. I've heard people erupt in spontaneous applause when you say that. Me too. They don't know what they're doing. Well, try, <laughs> saying it, try, try saying it. We'll, we'll, we'll pretend we've never heard it before. Everybody, come on. <clears throat> How's it go? Faces, faces. Go ahead, try it. Just spontaneous. <laughs> High, five. High five myself. No friends. Woo! Yeah! Hey, that sounded. Yeah! Can I get that on a Thanks shirt? So much. That sounded. That sounded really, really fake. Um, yeah. What would you, you put on the just shirt get though? Oh, duels. Oh, duels. An oh, duel shirt. What about a picture That's, of you uh, at a drum kit and it says, "Hey." Yeah. We're oh, getting closer. That's... Yeah. How about you pointing at your nose? Perfect. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> How about... Um, I quote that a lot. Didn't you do a shirt that had your famous rules if you want to marry me? I never did that shirt. I could do that. Didn't we? Didn't PJ put that together for you? Already? No, no, we could put that together. You're still working. Sell that. Is that any good? That's a lot of writing. People don't want to read all that. But, but you only write it once, Christy, because then they just copy it. I know, sweetie, but mm -hmm. people... <laughs> <laughs> do you remember any other... Now, I think we should explain this. Do you remember I'm any... not really in the t-shirt business for yeah. those reasons I'm out. <laughs> uh, you know, I am blonde, but I'm not stupid. Do you... Uh, wow. Can you explain some of the rules if you want to marry a Greg Hahn, what some of those rules are? Do you remember them? Your eyebrows must number a total of two! Two! <laughs> Is anybody still in it out there? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a dog for me to play with, you to care for. Same with kids. <laughs> when you run, it should not appear as if your legs are on backwards. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you get mad at me, don't mention it. Instead, just bake some meatloaf. Yeah. yeah. Your perfume should not make me lose the will to live. <laughs> Where there is football, there is jalapeno cheese dip. Make it happen. <laughs> That's good for now. <laughs> yeah. Those are all great. What about hair? What about the hair? Oh, yeah. If you cut your hair super short, how's it go? <laughs> and you say it's sassy, yeah. just pack your stuff and leave. Right. <laughs> well, I got a sister who didn't like that, Joe. My sister didn't like shit. That's so mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, just, oh, just awful. Does she have just, short hair? No, she's got long hair. She's huh. just kind of tuned in. Mm-hmm. Okay, but she's sensitive to contemporary she's standards. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. sounds caring. Sounds, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, sounds yeah. sensitive and caring. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to Patricia, say... Uh, is Patricia married? Oh, yeah. She's got a great husband and stuff. Oh. Was there a joke I'm supposed to deserve? Yeah. Weren't yeah. you, 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 you an usher at the wedding? the wedding? Oh, yeah. you yeah. got yeah. to yeah. tell Josh how to do this. I'm you sorry. accepted the challenge. Because you were a Marine. Should we do no, your act for what, you? What bit do I go with? The <laughs> wedding bit. Seating people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were in the Marines. The Marines. Out, the word is always outstanding. <laughs> Marines always say that. When I came out of boot camp, my sister got married. She had me seat the people at her wedding. They'd come walking up to me in front of the church like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down. <laughs> we don't have all day. <laughs> 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. Tied it up there. Tied it up. 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 We are so uncomfortable. Outstanding. <laughs> Is that it? Did I do it? Yeah. That was perfect. Was that, that was the good. bit? That was, right. it was very funny. <laughs> Felt like I was there. You know what I just realized? I don't think we we request these bits like this from any other comedian. You're right. We don't. We have songs we request. We have a request well, for God. No, 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 no. God, no. Hey, Han's the only one. We have a request for uh, gangsta folk. Oh, yeah. um, oh, we have. Yeah. Uh, we always get. Uh, but yeah, to, to have a specific uh, piece is th that's quite interesting. You know, it's fun. The young girls. That's what's fun. <laughs> oh. They're so. I requested this bit for myself. They're so exciting. <laughs> All right. Always losing their shoes, dropping their phone in the toilet. <laughs> Throwing the car up with diesel. I can't get enough. <laughs> they think animals and humans are the same. There goes a single mom with four kids. That's a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Greg Hunt. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Our engineer today is Ace Cosby. Hello, friends. Today we doubled up on the jokes. They were awesome. <laughs> we have uh, Chick McGee across the way at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. That's Greg Hahn right there. Comedian. Mr. Ace, Ace, how about vegetarians? What's their beef? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing a tour here. <laughs> 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 you, you don't, don't want to be late. Start. Now, Greg Hahn will be at uh, Dayton, Ohio's Wiley's Comedy Club coming up on uh, Friday and Saturday huh. for some great live in-person comedy with Greg Hahn. Greg also will be in Tampa next weekend at Side Splitters, then Hastings, Nebraska on February 9th, Fresno on the uh, 16th of February at the Tower, and then Saginaw, February 23rd, at the Dow Event Center with Pat Godwin yes. and Josh Arnold. All, All right. kinds of celebs. Show. That's very exciting. Mm -hmm. That's going to be room, chaos. Just one room, right, fellas? Yeah, of course. Yeah. In Saginaw. That's right. Uh, yeah, you'll be sleeping, well. sleeping together Three Stooges style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, wake up and go to sleep. <laughs> wake up and go to sleep is one of the funniest lines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're a kid. I that, always like spread out. <laughs> yeah. When you're a kid, that just seemed so reasonable. Yeah. Three guys sleeping. Yeah. That'd be fun if my buddies. I that. said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, the only Stooges movie I ever thought was funny or short or whatever you want to call them was when <laughs> Ak Mo actually fell and broke a rib. I found out later. <laughs> I thought that was the funny. He fell on the back of a chair. And Poor guy. Yeah. Almost killed himself. Oh I like the one God. where I like the one where Curly's dressed as the opera singer. I know. Oh yes. Yeah. That's just so hilarious. Good. You don't and, like that chick? No. Oh, this is, no Stooges. No. What about when they're when he's a plumber, when Curly's a plumber and he <laughs> and he locks himself in with all the pipes? <laughs> he keeps putting up pipes until he's like in a cage. <laughs> I didn't Wonderful. see that one. Now, uh, Chick, I, we were talking about uh, top hats. We've been talking about them all week because it was like the invention of the top hat or something a few days ago. And I think mm -hmm. we've forgotten, and I, I'm very disappointed in myself and you. Oh, Usually, I'm just disappointed in you. Um, <laughs> I, can, I can understand that. One of your favorite top hat wearers, and you forgot about him. Who? Well, we've mentioned, obviously, Abraham Lincoln, Slash from Guns N' Roses, Frosty the Snowman. Oh, yeah. Harpo Marx. Oh, of course. I guess he did wear a, I guess he did wear a top hat. 
God, you don't see. Can you? Not always. Can anybody pull off a top hat? Man. Sometimes you have you, confidence you, you can. You, you go to some of those Christmas festivals and they'll have a guy with a nice red jacket on a top hat. That's yeah. cool. What? There's a couple of hotels that have those guys out front. You walk really? up, they've got the guy with the top hat. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. What about the guys that drive the horses, you know, through oh, the park? Yes. Oh, sure, the handsome yeah. cab drivers. They can, sure. they, can, they can pull off the top hat. But, handsome uh, cab. But anyway, the Rusty! most famous. No, no, not, they're not, it's not. Sometimes they are handsome, but it's yeah. a, called Not a handsome. handsome like you, Greg Hunt. It's a <laughs> handsome cab. You know, you know, the panty dropper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have. Uh, oh, yeah, are you wearing actually any, thinks, are you wearing, He actually thinks he's helping you. Are, are you wearing any moisturizer? <laughs> no, I just saw Greg Hunt. <laughs> oh. He's the moisturizer. <laughs> uh, I get nowhere. Mr. Peanut. Is going to be doing a Super Bowl commercial, as you pointed out. This well, is first his first one ever. This is very I bet, exciting. I bet the commercial's already online. Remember you think so? Remember they start doing that all of a sudden? It says an unidentified celebrity will show up in the commercial with Mr. Peanut. Hmm. So hmm. you know what you don't Jennifer you, Aniston. There's no point speculating. <laughs> I don't know who it's going to be. Uh, who's associated with Peanut? Seth like, Rogen. I don't know. Uh, some stoner, perhaps. I don't know. What? Why would you think a stoner would be Seth associated Rogen? with Peanuts? I don't know. Just a snack? They're good munchy food. I like to snack. (laughs) Cosby, I doubt it. Well, that's that's my my Seth Rogen. Oh, I thought that was your Bill Cosby. (laughs) No, that's that's your Bill Cosby. Um, Well, tell me what it is. It's my Seth. Mr. Peanut, I I heard he's going to host the Oscars. That's what I heard. Oh, really? Well, he better better delete his tweets. (laughs) (laughs) We have um, a very rare appearance of Mr. Peanut. Um, see if you recognize this. I don't think any of you will, but uh, this was Mr. Peanut's last big foray into showbiz. <laughs> Mr. Peanut, of course, in and the nutcracker. And the nutcracker, yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a big, uh, the thing about Mr. Peanut is people are upset because they rub salt on his gums to make him move his lips. <laughs> sort of like Mr. Ed. And... Peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah. There's also a peanut mobile. What? Does it look like the Oscar? It, does it look like a peanut in a shell? It kind of does. It looks it's like called, the leader It's mobile? called the nut mobile, and their tagline is, it's always there for you at crunch time. There it is. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, so it's sort of like the Wiener Mobile. Yeah, it is. One of the I think I think every business should have something like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> not everything is difficult. mobile friendly. Yeah, you know, like a giant fork if you make <laughs> forks or. Huh. Uh, like if you make forks, forks like a big me. ice cream cone, if like Dairy Queen could have a Is mobile, that what leaped a to mo- mind? mobile cone, <laughs> I like a, a mobile cone could work. So if that using that scenario, you should drive a giant microphone. Sure, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Didn't Mr. Softy have a giant ice cream cone with a face yeah, on, the on the top, top of it? Of his yeah. He's working. He's working for Viagra now. <laughs> hey! I saw that coming. <laughs> he didn't for quite a while. <laughs> Most men don't. Yeah. Chick, do you yeah. have an ice cream cone? Do you go uh, standard cone or waffle cone? Standard cone. Standard. Oh, you standard. fool! Standard. standard cone. Standard cone. Am I the only waffler in here? Yeah. yeah. Good. Waffles delicious. They're very good. Yeah. Full Not of any, sugar. Mm-hmm. They're very tasty. Uh-huh. They smell good when they're making them. Waffle but cones are ridiculous. Yeah. They're they're too much. they're they're cumbersome. Yeah, you're right. Far <laughs> far too delicious. Uh, too crispy. Good the good mouth feel. It's uh, too the, much. Mouth feel. They hold the uh, ice, ice cream, cream far too well. Yeah. Sometimes the chocolate will pool at the bottom point. No, yeah, no, they suck. <laughs> no, a <laughs> sugar cone. I like a sugar cone. No. Was that the can, little crispy thing? Yeah, you can, you can suck the ice cream out of the bottom. Bottom. I like that. That's you mean the, the rock best. hard cone? Yeah, the rock the hard where you're sucking it. You know that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, do you have the music over there? <laughs> Greg Hahn, in what order do you eat the ice cream in Neapolitan? Go. Uh, chocolate, and I throw out the other two. <laughs> 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 That's not right. That's you got to make a That's choice. perfectly acceptable. <laughs> uh, the correct answer would be chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, but we'll move on. No, that's your answer. No, that's, that's the, the correct, correct answer. answer. Does anybody eat Neapolitan where they get a little of all, of all three yes, on one spoon? Of course. That's how you'll do it, no. Christy? Yeah, yeah enjoy, sometimes. Enjoy the uh, trifecta. Oh, yeah. This is, your, this, is your, uh, this is your big diversity thing. Does anyone that eat Neapolitan, <laughs> they get all, all three flavors? Melting pot. Of- I used to eat the strawberry first. <laughs> they always get all three flavors and throw it into a stupid waffle cone? Is that what they do? Oh, man, you guys are so wrong about this. <laughs> man, I had a sea okay. salt caramel truffle yesterday. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, where horrible. They, where, where'd so they sell good. that? You had to fly to France to get that? No, I got it at Kroger. In the, <laughs> I went into my... Oh, Icebox place. I don't my know, the Kroger has... My Kro- Christy, could I talk? No. <laughs> my Kroger... <laughs> My Kroger's been undergoing quite the facelift. I've yeah. heard. And I walked in yesterday, and of course, what's I don't know any, where anything is, but I, I turn and I hear this music, and I think it's music. It's a guy on a, a guitar. What? Da, 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 da. And there's a Live? guy <laughs> sitting beside the onions and the potatoes and the carrots, oh. playing guitar really? with a little with a little amp, and he's just killing it. And it, we're walking around shopping. And Aww, did he have like a nice. guitar case for you to throw a gun in? <laughs> was, this, was, this, was this sanctioned by Kroger? He, yes. And there were there were tasting stations everywhere because a guy had ice cream. It was oh. great yesterday. Mm. Huh? Mm. You think wow. that's a pain gig? <laughs> oh Godwin, that. please! <laughs> we have to make this happen. We, I'll do it. I want Godwin to play guitar at my Kroger. How do we? How do we make this happen? Nobody's got pubes anymore. <laughs> We have no pubes in our All, all of know. our deli meats pube free. Yeah. Well, coconuts look like pubes, don't Good they? The beef are going bad. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that'll happen. You could do some of your classics the, from the back in the day when you were writing serious songs. I could, yeah. What's that one called? Like Circle City. Lighthouse of Love or something? The Lighthouse was a big one, too. Lighthouse uh-huh. Played it at all the weddings. Mm-hmm. And didn't, and is, it, is it not a fact that every wedding where you've played that they've gotten divorced? 32 people, they're all divorced. Uh-huh. Wow. Really? wow. It's true. I'm not allowed to play at weddings anymore. That's undefeated. <laughs> That's uh. By the way, Pat, Pat played it at his own wedding twice. <laughs> <laughs> at both of his weddings. See, this is what makes you a windbag. You've been divorced too, and you're like, well, yeah. well, I'm above that. I <laughs> say I was above it. I. <laughs> Did he play guitar at your wedding? No, I didn't know him then. Mm-hmm. Remember those days? Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Halcyon days. Remember you had extra money in your wallet? <laughs> we have to live at the hubcap shop. Get, Remember that? They were, Halcyon, they were Halcyon for Pat Tool, though. Your drunk. phone would ring and you wouldn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. That was helpful. A lot of work. <sighs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Happy to be here. This room has just gotten a lot more handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um... <clears throat> Well, I was Come referring on, to our guest, uh, comedian Greg Hahn, is here with us. Hey, thanks for having me back. Okay, it's good yeah. to see you, Greg. Can is I say it, hello? This is uh, this is throwing me <laughs> off just a little bit. It's got uh, the hair has more of a uh, grayish what? black tint than yeah, the usual going on sort with of what chestnut. Happened? Were they out of uh, chestnut maple? It's a mood wig. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna throw your Witness head most dominantly? Uh, what is also his wearing? His mic doesn't sound on to me. His mic doesn't sound on to me. Is my mic on? Yeah. It's on, yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, we're good. Your Everything's good. So uh, where are they? All right. I'm sorry. Right. What's, what's the name of your new hair dye? Witness Protection 35? No. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm wearing Bozo 6. How are you, everybody? Thanks for having me. I got I to gotta make an announcement. The men's room in this in this building is worthless. Really? Oh. I walked in there, no urinals, just a bunch of women yelling, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that looked at. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the Napa Auto Parts studios. We have uh, comedian Greg Connors here with us. Good to see you, Greg. And running the controls, it's, of course, the legend himself, Ace Cosby. I, I am uh, torn today. Why? why is oh, God. Should I do one of my totally original jokes or one that was sent in to me? Oh, oh do the, do you got to go original. Original. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Send in. Okay. Send in. Original. Send in. We'll try the original. We'll see if it doesn't oh, work. Then you, can, then you can fall back on the other one. Um, yesterday we talked about bees. We sure did. Let's talk about ants today. You know? Do you know why ants don't get sick? No. Oh. Why? They have little antibodies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that's my original. They're little antibodies. Uh, yes, I like that. Keep them from getting <laughs> yes, sick. I, if you hadn't stumbled through it, Hitswater style, it would have been a little better. <laughs> he did a fine job. <laughs> <laughs> Hitswater style. Well, yeah. I wasn't trying gonna to get say the, anything. Trying to get but... the words in a row, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, Ace, uh, you did a fine job. Don't <laughs> listen yeah. to them. What was the one that was sent in? Um, uh, oh, what did the uh, Buffalo say to his son when he left for college? I don't know. Bison. <laughs> Bison. Bison. Hey! You know, I like Seriously, that one. This because, really, because this is what not we, happening. Because what we call a buffalo this, this actually is a, is a bison. So this, that's You guys just didn't tell me. This is a rehearsal show. We're not really broadcasting. That's fine. I got a new thing. I get yeah. it. All of a sudden, the studio walls fall down. We're in a, middle, we're in a big warehouse. It's an Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
Wow, that's great. Good I like Lord. both those. I like and, antibodies better. Antibodies? But they're both fine yeah, jokes. Yeah, I like, no, I like bison. Both, both fine jokes. Because yeah, bison, bison. bison is a, is is uh, is underscoring a fact that most people don't know. Uh, the, what, what we call a buffalo is not a buffalo. So it is, in what? fact, a bison. All right. You like the know-it-all factor. Of the yeah, yeah, yes. I like, I, like the, bison. I like the correct factor. You'd be able to, you'd be able to uh, snottily enter a yeah. You know, buffaloes are accurate. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> a- accuracy in science offends you. Did anybody ask for a win? Bag. Here I am. <laughs> if you look at wind bag, there's a picture of Tom. See in the dictionary. I was trying to embrace a your boy. joke, Ace. I found your joke delightful, and that I think that they're they're disparaging your joke. That's what you are. You're a wind bag. <laughs> That's exactly yes, what it is. Yes, yes, yes. A big giant yes. wind Remember the air in this bag is paying your mortgage. I know. <laughs> I'd like to think we're all contributing in some way. <laughs> right. what? We, what? Uh, wind bag is not used often. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's bring back wind bag, make binoculars popular, yes. get Velcro shoes in the mainstream. Now, uh, Pat, I can't unless you've got your guitar out. I do. Oh, wait, or wait a minute. Well, it's not oh, yeah. out. Over, it's it's over here. there. Yeah, okay, you moved it. Okay. Uh, perhaps a uh, time for a song before we get back to sports? Or do you have a... Oh, oh I suppose we did the Mr. Peanut story. Do you want to do the Mr. Peanut story? Do you want me to do it? I'm really bothered. You, let, I bother you, don't I? Let Chick here. do his job, for God's sake. How about sake. this? A native Japanese sumo <laughs> champion... She was defending you, Chick. I was defending you. It didn't sound like it. <laughs> Don't walk out. Christy can't win Lee. I won 150 bucks for the draw for the vacuum. Oh my. A native Japanese sumo champion is retiring from the sport following a number of losses in the ring. <laughs> Sorry, so he, he didn't do a good job, so he was fired. Well, he's yeah. the champion. This is a big story. Thirty-two-year-old Kinseno Sato Yotaka has nailed it. Suffered consecutive Kinseno losses. Kinseno Sato Yotaka is the Michael Jordan of sumo. <laughs> oh, don't so talk what happened? like you know this. He yeah. lost and quit. Yeah, he's retiring. He lost too much, so. He they're couldn't gonna, do it the, anymore, so he's retiring. Oh, yeah. Oh. The rumor is they're going to retire his diaper and hang it from the... <laughs> That's not what you do. You don't retire when you're a fighter. <laughs> you change your name like I did. Remember I was the Mangler? That's right. Oh, I lost. Mangler. I became the Strangler. Yeah. Yes. Then I became the Star Spangle Bangler. Right. Yes. Remember my last fight where I fought the kid wearing the Medic Alert bracelet and he nailed me in the forehead with a Zeppi pen? And then, <laughs> yes or no? I have that recorded. <laughs> and Mr. Peanut was Wait a star. second. So this, this big fat guy is going to quit his sport. <laughs> right. He's, he's not doing good anymore. Isn't that the weirdest? I think that has to be the Non-story. most... Non-story. Most unathletic of sports. I bet it's not easy. Holden. I don't know anything about I, it. I, I bet a, it's not. Yeah. I bet it's, I bet it's technical if we knew yeah. about it. Right. It's technical, but I mean, uh, d- good for you. Can you do any other sport if you do sumo? You probably bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Speed eating. You know something? I, I, You're right. You probably bowl. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <missed>. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Forget about the vacuum cleaner. <laughs>